Welcome students. So today we're going to study about the human body. But first of all, I want to give you an idea of what science is, right? So um, science is not only knowing about what goes in your body, but it's also about being curious. Science is about knowing what's happening in the universe, um, this textbook is showing you that um, before scientists didn't even know that there was a universe and there were other planets, but they were curious, right? So you have to be curious to be a good doctor, to be a good scientist. And so th that's how they figured out that there are, uh, there's a sun, there's a moon, there are planets and all the planets, including the earth, um, rotate around uh, their axis to the sun, right? And then, um, as I said, to be a good doctor or a good scientist, you need to be curious. So even doctors didn't know how the body actually worked and they had to study it and see how the body responds to other stimulus, right? And so they're telling you over here that the main questions you need to ask to be a good doctor, a good scientist, or to have a curious mind is who what, where, when, and why. So these five questions will help you know everything that you want to know. It will help you figure out um, any question that you uh, have, right? So like to know, um, to know uh, what is the sun and who is orbiting the sun, where is it happening, why are the planets orbiting the sun, and when does this happen? And for a good doctor, you would ask, who is this patient and like why are they over here where does it hurt when does it hurt and what are their symptoms or what what is it that's causing them pain right so now uh, this is just examples they're like what is the center of earth made of like science is basically not only uh, it's not only rotating around the universe and the body it could be about your geographical areas as well. It could be about the earth, it could be about um, the land, right? It could be about plants. So, and all of this, you figure everything out by research and experiments, right? So you do experiments, you do your research, and that's how you figure out um, how the body works or how the world works, right? So now we're going to start our chapter and I want you all to um, make a title page first of all with this chapter name, The Human Body. And I want you to write the day and date and the page number, right? So it's page number six in your textbook. And now we're going to read and I want you all to read with me and hopefully you'll under understand this chapter really well and we'll be really smart together, right? So let's start with the nervous system. So the human body is made up of the nervous system and when someone throws a ball towards you, you react by thrusting your hands out and catching the ball. So, here you are saying that when a ball is thrown towards you, it is naturally your instinct to throw your hands out and catch the ball, and you catch the ball, right? That is your nervous system at work. And this is because of your nervous system. Ki se ho rahe. The nervous system takes information from the outside world and from the organs inside your body. It then works out how to respond at that information and tells the various parts of your body how to react, right? So just nice is, oh, a ball is coming towards me. How does that happen? Because you're seeing with your eyes, right? So your eyes ke through signals of your brain ki taraf jate hain, or wo signals brain per identify karke, it sends them through uh, towards your hand. Or your hands khudi aage aa jate and you catch the ball. So nervous system is telling your body how to react. Then we read that the nervous system is made up of the brain, the spinal cord, and lots of different nerves. A nerve is a fiber that carries impulses throughout the body, right? So, you have to tell that the nervous system is your brain included, your spinal cord included. Hai. So, this is the brain, and this is brain ke baad aapka extension, hai, jo yellow color, mein hai, it's the spinal cord. And then there are nerves, right? This is blue, mein aapke around the arms, hai, around your legs, these are the nerves, right? So now you might have a lot of questions. Uh, you want to know spinal cord kya hai, nerve kya hai, right? Hopefully you all know what a brain is, right? So spinal cord 
एक एक्सटेंशन है इट्स लाइक आपकी जो आपकी ब्रेन और आपके नर्व्स को कनेक्ट करती है एज यू कैन सी यहाँ पर आपकी ब्रेन के बाद स्पाइनल कोड है और फिर देर आर नर्व्स राइट सो एज यू कैन सी द नर्व्स आर फर्स्ट कनेक्टेड टू द स्पाइनल कोड एंड देन इज कनेक्टेड टू द ब्रेन राइट सो स्पाइनल कोड इज बेसिकली दिस एक्सटेंशन जो आपकी ब्रेन और नर्व्स को कनेक्ट करती है एंड इट मेक्स श्योर कि आपकी पूरी बॉडी इज कनेक्टेड विद ईच अदर राइट एंड देर टेलिंग यू नर्व इज अ फाइबर दैट कैर्स इम्पल्स थ्रू द बॉडी so basically nerve jo hai it carries uh, impulses is uh, actions that jo aapko karne hote hain right jo bhi aapki brain ki taraf se signals aa rahe hain it nerves carry those signals those impulses throughout the body so brain se spinal cord se wo jo uh, signals hain wo aapke hand mein ja rahe hain wo aapke stomach mein ja rahe hain they're going to your arms right and then they're telling you ki the nervous system has two main parts the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system now again you want to know what the central nervous system is and what the peripheral nervous system is and this is very important by the way to know that there are two nervous systems in your body is really important just say you're not confused ki koi aap se puche okay aapka hath aise upar kyun hua jab ball aapki taraf se aaya so you don't want to confuse yourself and say ki ye sirf signals hain ya kya nahi you say ki ye peripheral nervous system ki wajah se hua right so the central nervous system is the brain and the spinal cord and the peripheral system nervous system is all the nerves throughout the body so if you look at this diagram so ye jo brain and spinal cord hai that entails your nerve uh, central nervous system so jo bhi aapki brain process kar rahi hai information aur jo spinal cord ko de rahi hai sirf ye do cheeze hain aapka central nervous system hota hai and baki jo nerves that are around your body जो पूरा एक्शन करते हैं जो एक्शन जो सिग्नल्स आपकी ब्रेन को वापस भेजते हैं दोस आर योर पेरिफर नर्वस सिस्टम राइट इसके बाद वी हैव दिस डायग्राम ऑफ अ ब्रेन एंड इट्स शोइंग यू डिफरेंट लोब्स ऑफ द ब्रेन सो एज यू नो आपकी ब्रेन का एक डिफरेंट एक स्ट्रक्चर है सेम सिमिलर स्ट्रक्चर है जो सबकी ब्रेन में होता है एंड um, ये जो डिफरेंट लोब्स हैं इनके डिफरेंट इनके डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स होते हैं दे अकाउंट फॉर डिफरेंट थिंग्स लाइक आपका फ्रंटल लोब है वो आपकी पर्सनालिटी बनाता है योर सेलिबेलम जो है इट्स नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन इट्स अनदर थिंग दैट्स कनेक्टेड टू द ब्रेन एंड वो आपको इट मेक्स श्योर कि आपकी कोऑर्डिनेशन हो आप जब खड़े हो तो आप सीधा खड़े हो आप गिर ना जाए राइट सो द ब्रेन हैज फोर लोब्स इट हैज अ फ्रंटल लोब इट हैज अ पराइटल लोब पराइटल लोब इज द ब्लू वन फ्रंटल लोब इज जो आपकी फोर हेड के सामने होता है इट्स इन ऑरेंज एंड टेम्पोर लोब इज दन दैट्स नियर योर ईयर एंड सॉरी एंड ऑक्सीपिटल लोब इज एट द बैक ऑफ योर हेड राइट राइट एंड सरबेलम इज बिलो द ऑक्सीपिटल लोब एंड एज यू कैन सी स्पाइनल कोड ये इट्स अ कनेक्शन फ्रॉम द ब्रेन टू द नर्व राइट इट कनेक्ट टू द नर्व सो द नर्वस सिस्टम वर्क दिस वे द नर्व रियक्ट टू समथिंग इट माइट बी हीट लाइट साउंड और एनी अदर स्टिमुलस So now you might want to know what is stimulus, right? It's a new word. It's a big word. So stimulus is anything that causes a reaction from your nerves, right? Like, uh, just like I said, heat, light, sound. So when your skin touches, um, कुछ गर्म लगता है, तो you know your skin उनका reaction होता है. You pull your hand back or anything. So that's because the nerves in your hand were um they identified the heat. उनको वो Uh, heat jo hai they identified it so they pulled your hand back right and uh, light se aapki aankho ka even your eyes have nerve right nerves right to wo eyes they recognize the light on uske hisab se aapki aankhe jab bahut dhoop hoti hai band ho jati hai right and then sound is for your ears obviously jab bahut shor hota hai you close your ears and that's because of nerves right nerves ne wo sound so now it went to your brain and your your reaction was closing your ears hai na so then this is just an example of a stimulus and how it affects your nerves so for example if you accidentally touch something hot the nerves in your skin send a message to of pain to your brain when the message reaches your brain your brain works at what to do and then sends a message telling your body how to react in this example the brain tells the muscles in your hand to pull back right and every moment your nervous system is sending millions of messages to your body obviously because up uh, whenever you're sitting you're not sitting straight right like even when you're sitting you're doing something jaise abhi for example i'm moving my hands to explain to you to wo jo movement mere haathon ki ho rahi hai that's because the nerves and my brain are connected through my spinal cord aur wo 
نروس سے میرے میسیجز میری برین کو جا رہے ہیں اینڈ دین برین از سینڈنگ بیک میسیجز ٹو مائی نروس اینڈ دیٹس ہاؤ مائی ہینڈس آر موونگ رائٹ تو ایون وین یور واکنگ یور ایٹنگ یور سلیپنگ اور یور لسننگ ٹو میوزک اور آپ یہ لیکچر سن رہے ہیں تبھی بھی یہی ہو رہا ہے ہے نا سو دیٹس دا کلاس فار ٹوڈے اینڈ سو آئی فاؤنڈ دس پکچر آن گوگل اینڈ آئی وانٹ ٹو شو اٹ ٹو یو کٹس So this is the brain, right? And this is the spinal cord. And these around the arms are the nerves. And as you can see, even these are the nerves, right? Uh, they're around your chest, your abdomen region. So basically, the brain, and, the brain and the spinal cord is the central nervous system. And then these nerves that are connected to the spinal cord is the peripheral nervous system, right? So that's what I wanted to show you kids. And then this other image uh, is more clear. It's less cartoons. <laughs> um so this is the brain and again this is the spinal cord it's just a connection from the brain that is connected to all the nerves around your body so you jo bhi hain ye sare aapke nerves hain so all these nerves that are connected to the spinal cord are peripheral nerves and the brain and the spinal cord is the central nervous system right so you have a peripheral the nerves that are around your arms in your abdomen in your chest in your legs they're called peripheral nerves and they form the peripheral central uh, peripheral nervous system and brain and spinal cord is a central nervous system right students so now i'm going to tell you what your homework is and before i tell you that please if you haven't already do make a title page um For your title page, you should write the name of the chapter, which is the human body, the day and the date, right? So if you haven't already, please make a title page. And then on the next page, you're going to write the hard words that we are going to underline now. So I have underlined the words uh, with a red highlighter. And if you find any word that is hard other than these words, then do underline them and write them all. Um, you're supposed to write the underlined words three times, right? So the first word is thrusting and this is in reference to how you um, react by raising your hands when a ball is thrown towards you, right? And thrusting is basically a verb, it's an action. And then the th second word is respond and respond is basically how you react. And the third word is information. So information is the knowledge that you gain or the, the stuff that you hear uh, and remember it, right? And then the fourth word is fiber. So in this context, fiber is um, another word for nerve that's around your body, right? And um, the fifth word is impulses. And as you know, impulses are the signals or the information that the nerve carries throughout your body. And then the sixth word is peripheral, right? Uh, it's about the peripheral nervous system. And then uh, your seventh word is frontal lobe. and your other word is temporal lobe. And I did not explain this in the lecture before, but I explained what cerebellum is, but I didn't see cerebrum. So cerebrum is basically the whole uh, brain. It's another word for uh, all these lobes of the brain together. So you have a brain in your head, right? And then the brain, the brain has two, um, two lobes, and these lobes are called cerebrum. And all these uh, lobes have different lobes like frontal lobe, temporal lobe, and parietal lobe, occipital lobe, right? So then your other word is parietal lobe. And then another word is occipital lobe. And then cerebellum. And as you know, cerebellum is not a part of a brain. It's attached below the brain. And then your other word is stimulus. And... Now I'll tell you a fun activity for you. So um, because right now you can do it with your family. So you're supposed to uh, see how quickly another person reacts to your uh, message, right? So you will need uh, family members or friends. And what you will do is ask your family members to stand in a line and ask them to put their arms by their side, right? So stand straight with your arms by your side. And then give them uh, instructions. Sorry, give them uh, give them and uh, and give them an instruction to touch a part of their body. Example: touch your head. And the last person to touch that part of the body is out. 
and continue giving instructions until there's only one person left. So you're supposed to, for example, everyone is standing and up bowling, touch your arm and everyone is quickly supposed to touch your arm, right? And this just shows how quickly your central nervous system is processing the information it's getting. So um, through your ears, the information is going to your brain and then the spinal cord is sending information to the nerves around your body. So this shows how well the nervous systems, periphery and central nervous system are working together. And it's just a fun activity and the one who is the slowest, who is the slowest, will be able to games and it's competitive and fun, right? So that's okay, students. So the other exercise for you, other than underlining the hard words and writing them and um, and doing the activity is, uh, is uh, question and answers. So you will write question and answers boldly on your page. So you know that there's another exercise that you're doing and there are question answers. And you will write question number one, name the two parts of the nervous system. And the answer to that is, the two parts of the nervous system are central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system, right? As you know, uh, hopefully you know this from reading the textbook and uh, you can easily find this in the textbook. Then the second question for you is how are the two nervous systems different? So as you answered in the first question that there are two parts of nervous system, there's a central nervous system and a peripheral nervous system. Now they're asking you to differentiate between these two. So the answer to that is the two nervous systems are different because the central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system. The last question for this uh, exercise is what is a nerve? And the answer for that is nerve is a fiber that carries, sorry, um, it carries impulses throughout the body, right? And now I'll show you where these uh, answers are marked in your textbook to make it easier for you. But for now, you have three questions. Here is your first uh, question's answer. It says the nervous system has two main parts, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system, right? So that's the answer for that. The second question's answer is over here. It says the central nervous system is the brain and the spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system is all the nerves throughout the body. And then the third question's answer is right over here. A nerve is a fiber that carries impulse throughout the body. So here are your answers.